that you can like sell uh, fish to or sell bugs to or sell turnips to you so she's just one of the random visitors she's not a permanent resident okay so yeah and then here's the second row of houses i'm gonna go through and talk to each villager eventually so i'm not really gonna go into detail there's a third row and then here is my museum which i guess we can go through as well here is Blathers. He's just sleeping soundly, but you can donate fossils, uh, fish, or bugs to him. And yeah, so we have fossils downstairs, fish to the right, and bugs to the left. The museum is honestly really, really pretty. I think it's one of the coolest parts of the game, but it is huge, and I do not have the time to go through that. So if you want to see someone's museum, I'm sure there's other videos, but... And then just behind the museum and stuff, we have our last row of houses. They're not perfectly spaced because I'm an idiot, but eventually I can go and move them around. It just costs a lot of money that I don't have right now. But so yeah, there's all of our little houses. Um, there's little furniture outside them, but nothing crazy. Behind the residential services, we have a campsite. This is where visitors can come and stay. And then over to the left, of everything is my house. I have some like miscellaneous plants and stuff that I just didn't want to carry um, outside my house, but this is the front of my house. I don't know why these tulips are here, just ignore that. Um, but yeah, so I have this huge flower garden over here. Eventually, I want to like use this to crossbreed flowers and get like the rare flower colors, but right now it's just full of flowers. And then around the back, I have my lawnmower, my barbecue grill, you know, that sort of fun stuff. So now I will go in my house and we'll give you a little house tour. One of my favorite parts of this game is the clothing and the decorating of like the houses and stuff. Um, so I... I think my house is so cute. I have three bedrooms currently. I'm definitely not done upgrading my house, but it's so expensive. So this is like my living room. So over here we have like cleaning supplies, um, a vacuum, a broom, an iron, my metal that says I have a nice house. Uh, we have my little table where you can sit and eat. And then behind that we have my little kitchen area, which is pretty small, but I think it's cute. And then just over here, this is where I'd like to put like a TV and a couch, but I have not gotten any in the stores. Right now all I have is just a beach chair, some books, my Animal Crossing Switch, which I bought myself for like 35,000 bells because the Switch that they gave me in the game is just a normal one. I don't have the Animal Crossing one in real life. Heartbroken, very sad about it, but... And then over here, I just have this little bookshelf with some nail polish on it. And yeah, this other room to the left is my office, which is kind of a hot mess right now. Um, I'm definitely still collecting items, um, but we have a little tarot, tarot card section, a typewriter, a phone, and a desk, and then this guitar. Um, this is a little butterfly thing that Flick gave me. He's a visitor that you sell bugs to and he can make you art pieces and um, he made me this butterfly thing. It's really cute. And then over um, here we have a sewing machine which I don't actually know how to sew but I thought that would be cute to add. So, But yeah, that's my makeshift office. And then back here I have my bedroom. So I have my little um, clothing area to the left with my wardrobe, this jewelry rack, and my mirror. Um, and then I have just my bed with my alarm clock, a tapestry. Over here, I have a record player along with some of my favorite albums on the wall. I want to add more to this. I just need to get QR codes for some of my albums that I like, but we have Lord, Harry Styles, and Frank Ocean. We have my pet tarantula. I don't know what to name him, so if any of you guys have any ideas on what I should name my tarantula, let me know. Um, my workbench that lets me craft things, but I don't really need to craft anything right now. And then a cat tree, because I do have a cat in real life, but yeah, so that's my little ode to Sylvester in my Animal Crossing house. But yeah, so that's basically all of my house. There's my little MTV Welcome to My Crib house tour. Again, still a work in progress. I think with the next upgrade, you get to change like the exterior of your house, which is going to be cool. Because 
pretty cute, but I would say she definitely has the, like, I'm not like other girls kind of vibe. Like, she's always talking about sports and, like, nature and shit. It's like, okay, cool, so who cares? But she's alright, she's pretty cute. I just gave her a coconut. Always give your villagers gifts, and they'll give you, like, money and shit, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, um, Sahara are, like, all in our groove. Girl, get out of here. That is Tucker. So, my first two villagers were Goose and Hazel. I really, I don't know if I like Goose. He always gives me, like, the best gifts, but all he talks about is working out and stuff and flirting with me. He's such, like, a fuckboy. I think he flirts with everybody. It's a mess, but, so yeah, that was my first villager, Goose, and then Hazel. Oh! <gasps> Why are you up there? How did you even get up there? I don't even know how she got up there. I don't even have, like, stairs leading up here, so this bitch time travel or something. Like, I don't... How did you get up here? Here's Hazel. She was my other first villager, aside from Goose. Um, I like Hazel. I think she's cute, but I feel like all the other villagers Loki hate her, and she also caught fleas the other day, so she's kind of stinky, but yeah, I don't know. Everyone kind of hates her. So I like her. I take pity on her, but here we have Murphy, who's like the grandpa of the island. He's really cute and wholesome. He always calls me kiddo. Um, he's just, he's such an old man. It's wholesome. I like him. Like, he's just funny. Um, and he has the deepest voice ever. And then here we have Annalise, who I hate. Like, I hate her. I want her to move out ASAP. I just, she's such a bitch. I just, no, I'm good. Annalise, get out of here. I want her to move out and Rosie to move in. Rosie's my favorite villager of all time. And then we have Lopez, who's pretty new to the town, but I think he's pretty sweet. The other day, he lost his journal and I found it and returned it to him, so I feel like he's a poet king. Like, I don't know. I love him. Okay, so here's Maple. She's the newest villager, our final villager for right now. Um, I love her. I think she's so cute and wholesome. Her, like, green eyeliner is iconic. I'd probably say that she's my second favorite after Henry, but yeah, so. But yeah, that's basically my island so far, what I've done. If you guys have any, like, suggestions on stuff you think I should add or what I should name my tarantula or something like that, let me know. Thank you guys for coming and visiting my island. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what other Animal Crossing videos you want to see in the future. And yeah, love you so much. Hope you have a great day.